Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you guys heard about the new interactive practice exam launched by the NCS? Well, yeah, so they recently released it and it is available online on their official website. Now, many of you guys have requested that I talk about this exam during our last live sessions. So I'm happy to walk you guys through it today. So I'll explain how the practice exam works, how you can access it, and we'll also look at how it is presented its format and compare it to the actual exam. Now, by the end of this video, I'll also share with you guys my thoughts whether you should purchase it. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, so first, to purchase the practice exam, you need to log into your NCS account and click exam prep. Now, under the exam prep section, you'll see two practice exams. We have the interactive practice exams and the ebook. Now, the ebooks listed at the bottom of the page are the same as the books they used to sell, but now they're in the PDF format. So essentially, they've stopped selling the physical book version, and now you can only get the ebook. I'll talk more about the ebook and how it is compared to the interactive practice exam by the end of this video. Now, once you purchase the interactive practice exam and try to access it, you'll be redirected to another site called Bench Prep, where the practice exam is hosted. Bench Prep will then ask for your permission to access your email and your name, and you'll need to confirm this to be able to access the practice exam. And once you are on Bench Prep, you'll see the practice exam you purchase on your dashboard, and you can access it by clicking Study. So here you guys can see the practice exam. So you get 50 questions and a total of two hours and 30 minutes to complete it. You also have the option to extend the time if you want with choices to increase it to 1.25, 1.5, 2, or even unlimited. If you don't extend it, the time will remain at two hours and 30 minutes, which is the recommended duration to complete this exam. Now, in a little bit, I will share with you guys when you should extend it and when you should leave it at two hours and 30 minutes. Now, next to the option to extend the time, there's also a review answer feature. And if you turn it on, you'll receive the answer to each question as you solve the test. Now, keep in mind guys, that once you enable this feature, you won't be able to change it during the test. So when should you guys have this feature on and when should you have it off? So basically, if you're using this practice exam to study and work through more problems, then you might want to turn it on. This way you can review the solutions as you're solving the problems. Now, however, keep in mind that when you are going through the solution, the timer does not pause. And so in this case, I recommend that you guys extend the time to give yourself more time to solve and review the solutions. Now, if you guys are planning to take this as a practice exam, I do suggest that you guys keep this feature off so you can better mimic the exam environment and get a feel of what the real exam will be like. Although it is only 50 questions, and I'll, dis I'll discuss this more at the end, you won't get the full exam experience since the real exam has 110 questions. However, it can still give you guys an idea of what to expect. Now, after setting up options, when you're ready, you can click start the test. And before the test begins, you'll see a test overview and instructions. And so you can review these, but they mainly cover the extent time and review answer features that we just discussed. They also mentioned the different types of questions you may encounter in the exam, just like the real exam. So multiple choice with a single answer, multiple choice with multiple correct options, drag and drop, point and click, and fill in in the box. The other thing they mentioned is the report content errors. And so this option is basically for if you find any mistakes as you're going through the practice exam, okay? And you can find the report content errors option under each problem, and then you can enter any relevant information in there. Now, they also provide additional information, noting that the way this interactive practice exam is presented is not identical to the actual exam. So, for example, in the actual exam, you'll have access to the on-screen calculator, and this exam does not provide one. However, I'm sure this is not a big deal for most of you, since many of you, if not all, 
will bring your own calculator to the exam. The on-screen calculator in the actual exam is often slow and less convenient to use. Now, another difference we have is the reference handbook. Now, during the actual exam, the reference handbook is provided to you guys, but in this practice exam, you'll have to open it on your computer. Once you reviewed the instructions, you can click start the test. Now, here you guys will see the first question, which is a math question. Now, due to copyright restrictions, we can't really show you guys the actual question. So here we just have an example, but don't worry, I'll walk you guys through it as much as I can so that you guys can decide whether it's worth purchasing. Now let's go over how the exam is presented. So in the top left corner, you'll see the timer, which starts counting down as soon as you click start the test. Next to it, there is a pause button. So if you click the pause button, it will ask if you're sure you want to pause the exam. And if you do decide to pause the exam, your answers will be saved and you can finish the exam later if you want. Now, Please guys, keep in mind that on the actual exam, you do not have this option. You cannot pause the exam. You do have the option to take 25 minute break, which usually happens around 52 to 58 questions. But the other thing too, is once you submit those answers, you cannot go back and check those problems again, okay? The other thing is when you do take 25 minute break, if you go over time, your exam will automatically resume. So make sure that you guys are back to your desk before the time is up. And if you do want to take a bathroom break during your exam, you can, but the timer will not pause. So the timer will continue running. So just things to keep in mind here. Now let's take a look at this bar. So here you guys have arrows that allow you to move to the next question or go to the previous one. There's also a confirm button, which you can use to proceed to the next question once you enter your answer. Next, you'll see question one of 50, which shows you which question you're currently on. There's also revisit later option, as well as review and finalize section. So the revisit later option allows you to flag a question so you can review it later. And any questions you flag will be visible when you click the review and finalize section. So for example, let's say you guys flagged question one. So if we go to the review and finalize section, you will see a red dot next to question one, okay? Now, let's say you submit an answer and then you flag it because you wanna make sure that you did it right and you wanna review it later. So in this case, if you go to the review and finalize section, it will show a check mark next to the question, this indicating that the question has been answered. And in addition to that, you'll also have the red dot under the revisit column because you flagged it, okay? Now, again, guys, please keep in mind that this practice exam is not exactly like the actual exam, okay? The real exam does look different. The format, the way how it is presented. So keep that in mind. Now, if you guys wanna see exactly how the screen will look on your exam, the NCS did post a couple videos walking you through it. So make sure that you guys check that video. I will leave it in the description box below. Now, I highly recommend that you guys watch that video. It's very important that you guys mentally prepare for this exam uh, and knowing how the exam will look like and how to navigate through it will definitely boost your confidence and help reduce test anxiety. Now, this practice exam does include the different type of questions that you may encounter on the actual exam, such as multiple choice with more than one correct answer, drag and drop, and fill in the box. Now, I want to specifically talk about the fill in the box type of question because many of students are unsure about how to enter their answers, whether they should round up or round down. And when I was preparing for the FE exam, I was wondering the exact same thing. And I finally figured out through this interactive practice exam. So basically guys, they accept any answers that range between plus or minus one. Let me give you guys an example. So let's say you solve a problem and the answer you get is 26.12. So if you enter any number between 25 and 27, it will be accepted as a correct answer. 
Now you have completed the practice exam and you want to submit your answers. So how do you do that? Well, you actually go to the review and finalize it section. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see a box that says, I have reviewed my answers and I would like to submit them. You simply check that box and click submit answers. Now, once you guys submit your answers, you will get a score right away. And if you click on the test section, you will see all the questions there. Now, the questions that you did get correct will have a check mark next to them. Those you got wrong will have a red cross. And if you didn't answer a question and you just left it blank, it will appear as a no entry sign. Now, on the same table, you guys are going to also see how much time you spent on each question. And if you bookmarked a question, it's going to appear on the column that is right before review. And we're going to discuss this more in a little bit. Now, if you click review or review all, you're going to see the step-by-step -step solution to each problem. And in the solution, they also provide where they got the equation from in the reference handbook. Now on the same page where they provide the solution to the problem, at the top left, you guys will see there is a bookmark and a pen icon. And you can bookmark a question if let's say you wanna go back to it later and review it. And if you wanna add any notes to a specific problem, you can just click the pen icon and the text bar will drop down where you can type your notes there. Now, if you go back to the test section, you'll see notes and bookmarks tabs on the top bar. And if you click on these tabs, you'll be able to see all your notes and any questions that you bookmarked. Now, there's also a category score section, which is similar to the diagnostic report that you get after failing the FE exam. Now, however, here they do provide the score in percentage, which is kind of nice because it allows you to see how well you did in each section. Another thing I'd like to mention about this practice exam is that some questions are not in the order of how the subjects are mentioned in the specifications. So for example, there was a construction question right after ethics and usually construction is at the end of the FE civil exam. Now, this can actually also happen on the actual exam. I remember it did happen to me and I was a bit confused at first. So don't be surprised if it does happen to you as well. Now, if you guys want to retake the exam, you can easily do so by just clicking reset test. This allows you to take the exam again, which is a really cool feature to have. I actually really like the, this option because it allows you to take the exam, see how you did, review your answers, and then maybe a week later, you can retake the exam to see if you learned from your mistakes. So if you do purchase this exam, I really recommend that you guys take it a couple times. Now you can reset the exam as many times as you want and they will keep all your previous tests and scores. And this way you can see all your progress and hopefully you'll do better each time you take the practice exam. Now, something guys to keep in mind is that you do have one year access to this practice exam. So I'd recommend waiting to purchase it until you're close to taking the exam. This way you don't have to pay for it again if you wanna get access to those problems. Now, that's pretty much everything about the exam format and the features that it offers. Now let's talk about whether it's worth purchasing. But before we do so, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it allows us to create more videos like this to help you guys pass your FE exam. All right, guys, so here are my thoughts about the practice exam. So it is a bit pricey. I mean, it is $50 and you don't really get a full test. So you get 50 questions, which is about a dollar per question, right? And when it comes to preparing for the FE exam, it's very important that you guys practice as many questions as possible, which is why we created the Jenny Prep FE exam problem set. It's a PDF that combines all our YouTube problems into one convenient file. You'll have all the problems in one place with the video links in case you guys wanna check out the step-by-step -step solution. So if you guys are interested in the FE exam problem set, you can grab it here. 
Now, I also think that the exam experience could be improved if they included the reference handbook, just like the actual exam. I mean, they don't really need to add the on-screen calculator because no one really uses it, but having the reference handbook would be a nice addition. And so basically just the screen layout doesn't really resemble the actual exam. And I feel like if it were similar, it would help you guys get familiar with the exam format. With that being said, is it worth purchasing? I think so. It offers some really good problems. And these questions came from 350 retired questions, questions that were actually part of the exam. That means they're going to closely mimic what you might see on your exam. And as many FE test stickers will tell you, there's no better way to measure how ready you are than by taking realistic practice exam. So this practice exam, guys, will give you more exposure to the exam format and help you feel more prepared. Now also the 50 questions in this practice exam are different from the ones in the ebook, so you're getting a new set of questions. Now as I mentioned before, I really like how you can reset the exam and take it as many times as you want and plus they also provide step-by-step -step solution for all the problems, which can be a great learning tool. Now, if the exam had 100 or 110 questions, I would have strongly recommended you guys to get it. However, with only 50 questions, it's not a lot, but I feel like it's still worth considering. And also, I feel like the 50 questions they've selected are really good problems and closely match the difficulty level of the actual exam. In my experience, I felt like the ebook problems were a bit easier than the actual exam, but this practice exam feels more aligned with the actual exam's difficulty level. Now, should you get it? Well, it really depends on you, right? So if purchasing it will make you feel more confident and more prepared for the FE exam, then definitely go for it. But if you feel like it's not really going to make that much difference for you or you've already taken so many practice exams at this point, then it might be best to skip it. So those are my thoughts about this practice exam. Now let us know in the comments below guys if what do you think about this practice exam? Did you take it? Would you recommend it to others? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And then also if you are trying to pass your FE exam, we do have a lot of resources for you guys. So first we have the cheat sheet, which has a lot of important equations and concepts that you need to know for the FE exam. We also have the Jenny Prep FE exam problem set, which has over 100 problems um, that we cover here in our YouTube channel and it's all combined in one place so make sure that you guys grab it. All the links to these you find them in the description box and then if you're looking for something more structured something that will guarantee you you'll pass your FE exam don't forget to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Our courses have helped hundreds of students pass the FE exam. Now I really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine! Oh yeah,